To put it in a, a sentence or two, George played it for fun and, and Wilfred played it for business. Mm. Um, I, you'd be hard pressed to say one was better than the other. I, I, I think that as a natural player, George Hurst was, was certainly Rhodes' superior in, in probably in most ways. Um, but having said that, probably if George hadn't played for fun, he wouldn't have been nearly as good. He had to follow his, his instincts and had to play the way he knew. Um, and that probably counted against him being a record breaker in the same way that Wilfred was. Mm. Um, also simple things like George was not a great, um, he couldn't conserve his energy. He would just throw himself at stuff. Um, so when things went right, he was capable of scoring 2000 runs and taking 200 wickets in one season. Um, Wilfred probably wouldn't have done that because he'd have thought about next season or the tour in the following winter and, and just held a little bit back maybe, um, that could be why he was um, why he became a spin bowler in the first place. It could also be why he decided um, in about 1905, 1906, that he wanted to concentrate more on his batting than his bowling because he could see more longevity in that. Um, he was, I, I, I've come back to it and I'll probably come back to it again. He was very much a professional cricketer, and I don't mean in the sense that he was just paid to play as opposed to an amateur, um, in the sense that he wanted his career to go on for a long time and he wanted it to ensure that he and his family were going to be financially secure for all their lives. Mm. Um, I I think there was a deep-seated, and this is something I talked to Margaret, his daughter, his granddaughter about, I think there was a deep-seated fear in him of what could go wrong. And, and that's why I started the book, as you might remember, with a scene in a graveyard where mm. um, the burial of a Yorkshire cricketer for whom it had all gone wrong. Mm. Um, and I think I didn't, I didn't write that chapter for effect. I, I do think that, that that funeral in... I, I can't remember, was it 1898, 1899, um, the funeral of Billy, Billy Bates. Um, I think that did, that did affect him and did worry him and did make him realise, I think I wrote, what, what lay below if things went wrong. And Wilfred thought, how can I, how can I best um, um, array the chances against things going wrong. What's what's the best way for me to pursue my career other than being a very good cricketer? How can I organise it best? Um, and he did a pretty good job of it. Mm.